one of the things that has been comical, ironic, well, I don't know how better to put it, both comical and ironic, and this also has to do with my Patreon account, which I think is absolutely, I got two things to say about that, that's absolutely comical, is that if I go out to speak to a, an audience and it goes well, then my financial support goes up. So great, because, and I think that's great, because, and this is something I want to make clear, is like, I am making a lot of money on Patreon, and people have been commenting about that. But one of the things I would like to say is that it is not how much money you make that's relevant. It's what you're going to do with the damn money. Right. And, and I don't. And I'm thinking of- there's a substantial portion of it that's going to be siphoned off to the Dr. Gatsad uh, fund. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> that's what you're hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I don't have a lot of personal hedonic desires, you know. Right. Um, first of all, I'm not that young. And, and second, well, they're just not that useful to me. I, I, I mean, travel, I can already do that. I, I have my wife who I get along with. I've got kids. I'm going to have a grandchild. Like, I've got everything I want. I'm not interested in buying a bunch more things. But what I am interested in doing is taking money and doing useful things with it. And I have lots of plans with it. And I think that you don't judge someone by how much money they have. You judge them by what the hell they do with the money when they have it. And, and I think the fact that that's not self-evident is also an indication of how deeply rooted this social justice resentment has become right. in our society. Right. It's so you're, like, you're sort of tarred by the fact you lose your purity as a truth seeker by virtue of the fact that there is a big dollar sign assigned to your patron. Right. Aha. He's after pecuniary needs and he must be an evil capitalist. Is that the general idea of what you're getting now? Yes, well, yes, exactly. And I would also say I have absolutely no problem with being a capitalist. So if people want to accuse me of that, no problem. I have a business, you know, and that's that does the self-authoring programs, among other things. And I'm, I'm very happy about that. We've helped thousands of people sort their lives out. And we've done it in a manner that's profitable so that we can continue to make things that are going to help people make their lives better. And we have lots of plans for that. And I've been doing it for 20 years. And I have absolutely no regrets or or shame, quite the contrary about any of that. And it is definitely the case that my partners and I are fundamentally motivated by producing broad scale psychological interventions that extend our clinical ability to large sections of the population at low cost. That's fun, that's interesting, man. And we, we, we're gonna make money doing it because we have to support the infrastructure. We wanna hire people to make more of the, of the same products and and because the money also enables us to envision doing other useful things like the YouTube videos. And one of the things I want to do, and we'll talk about this at some point, is, for example, I've started to become interested in the idea of doing a, a well-developed series on the 100 greatest books of the Western canon and putting that on YouTube. It's like, Jesus, why not do that? That's such an exciting idea. And there'll be some production costs associated with that. And But the return on investment should be staggering. And like the lectures that I've been putting on YouTube and you too. I mean, they're reaching hundreds of thousands of people. Well, God, that's worth some money for God's sake. And so there's no, I don't feel the least bit upset about the fact that um, some money has been coming my way. And partly also because um, I'm not requiring people to give it to me. Right. I'm giving everything I'm doing away except for the self-authoring stuff, which actually has a cost. I'm giving all the stuff I'm doing away for free. So, and if people want to support what I'm doing because they trust that I'm going to put the money to good use, then they get to do that. And I don't give a damn what the left-wing social justice warrior types think about that. And if they think that's the reason I'm doing it, well, frankly, I don't give a damn what they think. Well, I'm at one-tenth what you're making, maybe even less. So for all those of you who are into social justice and equality, let's start siphoning some of those funds to the green-eyed Lebanese lover and not just to Jordan Peterson. Let, for the sake of fairness and social justice.